As some of you are aware, workmen digging in the back garden of number 15 Honeyford Road have uncovered skeletonized human remains. The hands were tied behind the back and the body wrapped in polythene, so it's definitely a suspicious death. If we go in there and start leaning on people, well, we'll get it. So it's easy, does it? You're all graduates of the rank charm school, right? A murder investigation explodes with racial tension when Helen Mirren returns in Prime Suspect 2. So now we've got bricks thrown into the garden of number 15, a reception full of people bleating on about infringement of civil liberties and police harassment. As far as I'm concerned, one less on the streets is no loss. A young girl finishes up buried in someone's backyard like the family cat. What difference does it make what colour her skin used to be? A search for truth in a complex case, torn by personal emotion. I'd be careful if I were you. Don't be too trusting of our Afro-Caribbean friend. Tony Allen, I'm arresting you for the murder of... No! Local people are being treated as second-class citizens. The police aren't exactly noted for their enthusiasm when it comes to solving cases when the victim is black, are they? Was she black? Doesn't say so here. Maybe it's you who's jumping to conclusions. What kind of a brother are you to say things like that to me? I'm not your brother. I'm a police officer. You hate your black brothers and sisters. You're black! Now, you brought him in, not me. I didn't ask for him. He's a loner. He's a one-man band. He's not my type. It's not what I heard. I beg your pardon. I want evidence. I want corroboration. I want to solve this case. Prime Suspect 2, 